Mr. Bates, when and how did the Harley Oswald first come to you and for the notes? He uh, saw my name in the telephone directory, the yellow pages, as a public stenographer. And he had some notes that he'd smuggled out of Russia that he wanted to have typed up in fairly good form. How long did this take over a period of time? He was here three days, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Did he get any reason for stopping? Yes, he ran out of money. He said he had $10 that he could spend, and when I used up $10, he used up $10 worth. He wanted me to stop. About how much of the notes that he had did you have transcribed in this time? I had 10 pages, single space, eight and a half by 11. What would be your reactions to Oswald? In what way? Uh, my reactions, he was uh, aloof, remote, very reticent, didn't talk very much. Was there any conversation between you and he aside from the note transcribing? Just about his wife, how much she liked America and how much she was enjoying it. And nothing personal. He would never discuss anything personal about himself except that he had been in the Marines and when he got out, he applied for a visa to go to Russia. I asked him if uh, he was an exchange student, and he said no. In your opinion, would you say that his notes were realistic, or could they possibly have been intended to uh, create a ruse? I don't see how. He described conditions, actual living conditions, and uh, working conditions, and uh, amount of money he made, and things like that. As far as I read, I didn't get to read them all. I don't know what was in them after that. Were you at any time alone with his notes where you could look no, at No, never. What work did he indicate he did while he was in Russia? I have, he worked in a factory, and I cannot remember what kind of a factory it was. It was in Minsk. It was in machinery of some kind or other, as I remember it. I'm kind of foggy on that. Did he indicate that he was happy to get back to the U.S.? He said his wife was. He never did volunteer whether he was or not. I don't... I, I learned not to ask him any questions because he would clam up immediately. Was but any, I, he would talk about his wife. Was there anything in his notes referring to the Communist Party or his activities after he came back? There was a lot about the Communist Party uh, in that you don't have lunch, I mean, your lunch hours, you have to listen to par party bosses. You don't have coffee breaks. All the television is party, and you have to listen to it. You don't talk unless it's out in the middle of a big park someplace. Did um, he indicate what he intended to do with your notes? He was going to take them to this man you mean to his notes or the ones I typed? What you typed? He was going to take them to this man and see if he could get the money to have the rest of them typed and get it in the manuscript book form. Has the FBI or Secret Service been in contact with you? No, they haven't. No.